Hey guys, how's it going? Mr. Mitchell here. In this video, we're going to go over escape velocity. So let's get started. We're going to start by looking at the definition of escape velocity. And it says here that escape velocity is the minimum velocity required by a mass m to just escape from a planet's gravitational field and reach infinity with zero velocity or zero kinetic energy. The equation for escape velocity can be derived by considering the energy involved. So you need to be able to derive an expression for escape velocity in the advanced higher course, which I'm going to show you just now. So it says here that by conservation of energy, the total energy on the planet's surface is equal to the energy at infinity, which is zero, by the definition of escape velocity. So that is, the kinetic energy plus the gravitational potential energy is equal to zero. Substituting now the expressions for kinetic and potential energy for an object of mass m, we get a half mv squared plus minus gmm over r is equal to zero. And I've put this term in brackets just because we've got the minus there and we've got a plus there. So remember this was our expression for gravitational potential energy when we've got two masses. Where capital M is the mass of the planet and r is its radius. Taking the negative expression over to the right hand side now gives us a half mv squared is equal to gmm over r. And then you'll notice we've got a small m on both sides so we can cancel the m from both sides and then rearrange for the velocity v squared term so we get v squared is equal to 2gm over r. And that arises by simply multiplying both sides by 2 to get rid of that half on the left hand side. So because we want escape velocity and not the velocity squared then we just need to take the square root of both sides here so we end up with v escape is equal to the square square root of 2gm over r, where v escape is the escape velocity of the object measured in meters per second, g is the universal constant of gravitation measured in meters cubed per kilogram per second squared, as before, capital M is the mass of the planet measured in kilograms, and r is the radius of the planet measured in meters. And just to show you a quick animation to help you visualize escape velocity, imagine we've got a space shuttle launching from the surface of the Earth, and its launch velocity to begin with is 1 kilometers per second. Well, if we play the animation there, you'll see it jumps up and back down because the escape velocity is not high enough to escape the gravitational pull of the Earth. If we were to then increase the launch velocity to say 3 kilometers per second and then play again, you'll notice it goes higher this time but it still comes back down due to the gravitational pull, which means the launch velocity is still not high enough. If we increase to 5 this time and play it again, you'll notice it goes even further this time but still not leaving. If we go up to 7, same again, it's going much further this time, but then eventually it's being pulled back towards the Earth. And if we go up to 9, same will happen again, up all the way up and back down. And lastly, 11 kilometers per second, if we click play there, the space shuttle is not going to return back because 11 kilometers per second is actually the escape velocity for an object from the surface of the Earth. And it's actually about 11.2 kilometers per second, which you'll work out in one of the worked examples. But for an object to escape the gravitational pull of the Earth, it needs to be moving at about 11.2 kilometers per second to then reach infinity with zero velocity or zero kinetic energy by the definition. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.